All right, hey, what's up guys, it's Roy here, and I have another case review for you for the iPhone 13 Pro. So as you can see here, I have the Caseology Parallax case for the 13 Pro. Now this is the ash gray version. There are multiple colors that you can pick on Amazon right now. So this one's $16.99 with prime shipping. Um, so definitely follow my fellow links down below if you wanna pick one of these up for any of your iPhone 13s uh, that you might own. So let's go ahead and take a real quick peek here at the actual packaging. So as far as the packaging goes, it's pretty generic. Uh, has this, you know, very dull gray color, Caseology branding here, picture of the phone inside the case there. 13 Pro, like it says here, parallax. Like I said, that color is ash gray. And then as far as the sides go, Caseology branding on this side, nothing really on the back to talk about. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. So just pop it open like that and then Take it out of the packaging here. Now you do get just this uh, kind of generic uh, little welcome to the club thing here. Um, so not much to talk about, but if you have any issues with the case, do go to support at caseologycases.com. You can shoot them an email and they'll take care of you. Now here is the case itself, but let's go ahead and flip it over and look at the inside. So a lot of stuff going on in here, as you can see. So. Spigen makes Caseology cases, so you do have this kind of very similar look to their spiderweb design inside of their cases. So it's kind of got that high gloss look that the phone's going up against. You have a very simple Caseology logo there. And then just some Caseology stuff in here, talking about Irvine, California, Caseology, all that. Now here in the corners, you are getting some bumper protection. So those little airbags are going to act like uh, little airbags, like I said, and help dissipate the energy away from the phone if you do drop it. So you are getting military standard drop protection with this, uh, what they're testing. I believe it was dropping it like 30 times at four feet or something like that. So definitely getting some good protection with this slim profile here. And then you do have just kind of this uh, weird little dots around the, uh, or not dots, but you see what I'm saying, little lines around the uh, bump there, and then down here at the bottom as well. So once again, just really helping with that drop protection. So let's go ahead and get the phone inside of the case here. Push in like so, boom, boom. And there we have it. There is the ash gray on my Graphite 13 Pro. So as you can see, looking at it straight on, you do have just this very dull ash gray color uh, with some different colors of gray as well. This is obviously a little more of a shinier gray, uh, the same with the bump around the uh, camera bump here. So that's kind of how the look is looking at it from straight on. Now you do see up here at the top, you do have kind of a two pattern changes there. So with the parallax, it's kind of known for like that really uh, funky looking uh, just wavy pattern here. And then it does have more of this matte uh, grippier texture up here separated with a glossy line there. And then, like I said, here at the bottom is a little bit shinier with a Caseology logo. And then that same type of um, grippier, more texturized bottom there. So like I said, looking pretty nice there. Now, as far as that camera bump goes, like I said, that is a little bit of a shinier, more of a, a gray color. Um, it's kind of a, just a lighter gray, as you can see here, but you are getting some really nice lens protection with this case, as you can see here, those lenses are recessed in nicely. Um, so no issues when you do lay it back down. So that is the look there. Now, as far as looking at the sides go, as you can see here, this is kind of how it looks on this side. You do have this really nice grippy material here down at the bottom where your hands are going to rest while you're holding the phone. You do have a nice raised power button there. And then going to the bottom, obviously you do have um, your cutout for your lightning port and your speakers and mic down at the bottom. And then going to the side here, you do have that grippy material once again that does say Caseology right there. So you do have some Caseology branding as well on the side there. And then you do have your volume up and down buttons that are raised. And then a very generous cutout there for your alert slider. And then nothing at the top, but once again, in my videos, I like to show off kind of how that big bump sticks out there on cases. So that's how it looks there. Going to the front of the phone, as you can see here, you do have some raised lips evenly all around the whole entire front of the screen. So you are definitely going to be getting some screen protection out of this when you do lay it 
face down as well, or if you drop it for that matter. It is tempered glass friendly, by the way, and you can see here that uh, that is how it looks with the actual um, cutout there for the uh, speaker up top. So it is raised above, so it's not gonna interfere. Keep on getting notifications, guys, sorry about that. Um, but that is how it looks, looking at it from the front straight on. So pretty nice. Um, very slim profile, by the way, guys, and that grippiness right there feels really, really good in the hands uh, right now. I mean, you just can feel those ridges and hear them too. So definitely feels fantastic. So let's go ahead and do the wobble test real quick and get that out of the way. So face down, surprisingly, a little bit of a shake there, guys. So something to think about. And then back down, obviously we're gonna know, very shaky because of that big bump on the back. So next, let's go ahead and do the clicky button test. Let's start with that power button first. And volume up and down. All right, so definitely passes the clicky button test. So very tactile and responsive. Next, let's do the alert slider. So very, very easy to get this. Uh, I'm barely using my fingernails, so really, really easy access there. So next, let's go ahead and do MagSafe. So there is no MagSafe magnets built in, but obviously I don't think that's gonna be a big issue because it is MagSafe compatible. Now it's not MagSafe accessories compatible in your vehicle or stuff like that. So if you are someone that wants to use it, mounting it on your car vent or something like that, it's not gonna work guys, because as you can see here, it barely stays on and I can barely shake it and it falls right off. So it's gonna find it, no problem at all. So if you wanna charge it on your tabletop or something, great, slap it on your MagSafe charger or a Qi wireless charger, you're good to go. But if you're trying to use like some sort of magnetic mount or something like that and have it like angled up and then mount, it is not going to work guys. I promise you don't waste your time. It won't work. So unless you put like a magnet of some sort inside of the case yourself, other than that, it's not going to work. So yeah. So overall guys, the case feels really good in the hands. Like I said, this grippy material here on the sides uh, just really, really feels good. Especially when you are someone like me that kind of holds the phone like this when I'm talking. So my fingers are always touching that grippy pattern there. And uh, I don't know, I just really like gray. Um, it just looks good here because there wasn't like a black one available. I don't think they even make a black one to be honest with you. Uh, there was like a dark blue and then like a burgundy color. So like I said, I'll link all of them down below, but the point is, is the gray is about as close as I can get to a darker color. And uh, the dull color just looks really cool in my opinion. So I really do like this color a lot. So um, yeah, so like I said, overall guys, feels good in the hand, looks good clicky buttons, a lot of things that are just check marks all around. So if you like this case, guys, hit that like button. And if you really love this video, please subscribe and ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. I really appreciate it. Appreciate the love and helping me grow my channel. So be safe. God bless. We'll see you on the next one.